Hello, hello, my lovely angels. This is your girl Sam back with another episode of The Sim Squad. Hi! So, today I have a very interesting um, perfume for you. It's actually a set of perfumes, and I have been eyeing them for very long, but I wasn't sure what is included in this uh, range and what's not. Because uh, the most popular one is, of course, known by everybody. But then there were so many other variations and I wasn't sure if it was from the same brand. I'm talking about none other than Marcus's hair is everywhere. This is your Arda Zafran's Musif. Uh, this is probably one of the cheapest perfumes you will have on the market. It's cheaper than the price of Latafa. And you know Arda Zafran, their quality is like pretty decent. Now having said that, it comes in a very... Um, it's a jute sack, that's all I can say. It's um, very jutey and I even tore off the tassel for this one. But the bottle is very minimalistic and I quite like it. It's a very, very simple bottle. That's the cap for it. Yep, there you go. And the juice is, uh, you know, I don't know why, but I see like little particles inside. And those seem like dirt particles. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure. Maybe it's not dirt. It's just like some ingredient that I've used. Now, the other two variations I have is the Vardi and the Musuf Ramadi. Now, let me tell you a little bit of a story about this man called Musuf, who originated from Iraq. And he used to be a part of a, uh, of a district called Ramadi. And that's what these perfumes are based on. He was an old school perfumer and he was very well respected very well known and these were apparently his formulation i could be wrong this information i've got it off the net so uh, not much is known about these perfumes but i just know that they've been around for a long time and i for some reason was never attracted to it but today i have the three now i've been seeing variations in blue i've seen one in black i've seen one in white but I have, uh, as per my research, doesn't belong to Ardal Zafran. I'll tell you why. Because they have this uh, pamphlet inside, which is all their perfumes. Now, Wardi, which is like the latest release, this is not even listed on, on this. But the Ramati uh, and the original Musuf is listed. So let me start with the first one, which is Musuf. Now, I wouldn't call this a viral perfume, but I saw a lot of people raving about it. And I was like... Definitely one of these days I'll get it and I want to get it in the part of the set so that I could bring like all the information to you. Now, the perfume, it's absolutely unisex. I love it. It's very sweet and it's very woody. It, I can, all I can tell you is like it's a sweet wood. And then it has like hints of citrus and some aromatics. I'm going to read off the notes from the pamphlet itself. Uh, the top notes are plum, lemon. Sumatris and bergamot, the heart notes of pineapple, hazelnut, black pepper, and the base notes of amber, wood accords, patchouli, and cedar wood. So yes, it's definitely a very fruity, sweet wood. But like if you say like notes like pineapple, uh, uh, the plum, I can't identify them, which I feel is a good thing because like I know a lot of people, they kind of get offended. Okay, plum is usually loved by everybody. But the uh, note of pineapple is a little controversial and people don't like it being present in almost every scent. But over here, it's giving this citrusy feeling to the perfume and it's adding like uh, the sweetness of uh, uh, tangy sweetness from the fruits. And then you have your woods and patchouli. And of course, amber, it's giving it that base and smelling really good. Now this to me, it's like a very non-offensive. Uh, you can wear it on daily basis. I literally already it doesn't show but i've actually made a little dent in this because ever since i received it i've just been u uh, using it non-stop and it has this very pleasant wood in it and it reminds me of a perfume from my childhood like i don't know if it was an aftershave or if it was uh, like i don't want to say aftershave because i know i'm going to put a lot of you off you know but it doesn't smell like aftershave but it definitely smells like it reminds me of my father it's definitely a perfume he used to wear and he was a smoker and you know like end of the day like when he would put his clothes in the wash um, we could smell his perfume and a little slight bit of uh, uh, tobacco the cigarette uh, uh, residue or scent or something but 
it wouldn't smell like cigarettes so it kind of is giving me that dry down so that dry down i'm assuming it's uh, the patchouli amber and woods which is like um, um, that base note which was probably present in most of the perfumes back in the day so i kind of have this nostalgia attached to it because it does remind me of my father but having said that it's not like this perfume is masculine it's not it's in my opinion a perfect unisex like anyone can wear it i would wear it i'm going to probably finish this bottle real soon and because it's barely 10 dollars i will be purchasing this over and over another reason why i have to purchase this over and over <laughs> is because the longevity on this one is shite it's like so bad like i literally sprayed it in the morning all over myself i doused myself like like everywhere and by afternoon like i couldn't smell it on me like when i stick my nose to my clothes i can smell it but it's not projecting at all it's not projecting to an extent that i can't smell it either right unless i'm like digging my nose into my clothes so yeah the uh, the weakness is the projection and the longevity like i would say the longevity for this is um, like an hour or two hours at the max if the more you spray i guess the more it will last uh and the projection is like a good like one and a half two feet but the longevity just like ruins it for me but because it's so cheap like imagine like 100 ml or 75 ml whatever this is like let me see what ml it is okay it's too difficult to read stuff uh, on uh, leather like because they have these little stitched leather and it does feel like genuine leather i hope it's not <laughs> what a waste that would be anyways i really like it this is like suitable for any season uh you can wear it any time during the day uh i would prefer it during day but i can see this like actually um maybe it needs maceration and maybe it will like get better but i would add a little hint of uh, either a leather scent like uh, abiyad anabiyad leather or i would add uh, badial oud oud for glory along with this and this will just give it that woody sweetness that those perfumes lack so i'm definitely going to this guy is going to make an appearance in my uh, best um, i'm still working on it guys my best uh, combination the layering perfumes of the arabian perfumes so this guy i'm sure it's going to make like a lot of uh, appearances on that because this is the perfect woody amber sweetness like which you would need to add in many perfumes to make them a little bit more either feminine or a little bit more sweet if you know what i mean for the value like yes it comes in this uh, jute sack thingy which i'm going to throw immediately because it's awful but the bottle itself i don't mind it and i'm going to give this a 7 out of 10 i quite like this perfume so i would like recommend you guys to like get it if it's available for that cheap like 10 dollars or so even if it's 12 dollars it's fine uh, but like i wouldn't give it more value than 20 dollars if it's like 20 dollars or more not worth it you know but otherwise great perfume let's move on to the next one because i'm trying to make my uh, my videos a little shorter because <laughs> when i'm editing guys like literally i have footage of like one and a half two hours and i'm like why are you talking so much <laughs> stop stop like i'm just explaining explaining over explaining because it's like my train of uh, thoughts it's like a bullet train you know <laughs> it just like goes 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 and then like i forget like what i'm doing and it's just recording and when i'm editing i'm like you know and the thing is i have to listen to the whole thing because i'm like Uh, there might be some gems that i would want to put in uh, not to like uh, blow my own trumpet or something what do you call it blow your own horn blow your own trumpet something but like yeah but like i do like make sense quite a bit most of the time but uh, it's just like my thoughts just keep uh, like like right now you see what i'm doing <laughs> the next one is most of awardi it is like the super bubbly pink bubble gummy pink very barbie pink My goodness, Marcus's hair is like literally everywhere. So again, this comes in that cheap uh, jute thingy, and then the bottle is very cute. It's like, ah, <gasps> look at that. As much as I love the most of worthy, this one, <laughs> not so much. This is the literal translation of the word juvenile. Like this. I have smelled this perfume a lot a lot in my childhood. This was the basic musk and fruit combination, but the fruits were all like artificial fruits. It smells like literally like bubblegum or you know one of the strong smelling candies like a kid would be like uh like 
suckling on the candy and then you can smell the <laughs> candy from like far away it smells like super sweet this is like tooth achingly sweet it's extremely floral and the florals are like i'm talking about like tuberose kind of florals the musk is a white musk which is like the worst one for me and this one just translates into something so sweet that like i i can't really like wear this because it doesn't have anything to it it's just sweetness and there's no oomph to it nothing like special so i'm not going to give this perfume away i need to see if i can layer this with something let me tell you the notes by the way this is being compared to angel noah by uh, mugler and i'm just thinking that dude like i was just about to buy the angel noah and i was going to blind buy it although it's available in stores over here now i'm going to go make sure that i smell it if it smells something like this i do not want it so the top notes for this are lychee rhubarb and strawberry heart notes of rose vanilla and apple and the base notes of white musk and cashmere now with all these notes you would say oh my gosh it sounds exactly like delina yeah like it does sound like delina smells nothing like it smells nothing like delina or any of its dupes like i even try to wash it off you know when i sprayed it on because i try to normally spray it like halfway on my skin and halfway on my clothes so i can like tell you the exact you know the way it smells on on your skin and on the clothes and this guy just did not want to come off so hands hats off to this for the longevity because it lasts at least 6 hours and when i washed it you know what remained on my skin it was the musk it was the musk i could just smell the musk and i was like you know you know i have a gag reflex with that white musk in its purest form like it smells animalic to me it smells like skin and it just grosses me out i don't know i had told you about this whole moroccan hammam experience and it just reminds me of that and it's like you know but uh, yeah the perfume and the juice very much uh, smells like the bottle i really like the bottle because it it's it's a pink bottle basically but because the juice is uh, ambery it uh, gives this uh, fluctuation like an ombre orange and pink by the way my favorite colors are pink and orange and everything in between so you can imagine like this is like fantasy for me <laughs> this is like you know i, I just want to like make it like combine it with me somehow if you know what i mean <laughs> i don't know what i'm saying but yeah like this is like orange and pink my favorite color let me know what your favorite colors are i know it's like a very like uh what do you call it the very um basic thing to say for a girl when you say pink is my favorite color but it's orange and pink and everything in between so you have your coral your peach you know all those colors as well these are like my favorite colors they just like you know coral the orange is like warm and then the pink like it goes towards cold and everything in between so there you go i'm blabbing again so <laughs> now this one smells like i'm sure when you guys smell it you will one of you will definitely tell me what it smells like because this is something definitely from me and like from 80s or 90s like you know not sure if it was a bubble gum or if it was like a candy or it is it smells like something as a matter of fact i'm going to make ali smell it because i'm sure his memory with scents is pretty good he will let me know if you ever like this kind of perfume it is suitable for spring i'm going to give it a rating of like 5 out of 10 because i would be able to layer okay actually let's give it 6 out of 10 because i will definitely be able to layer this with something and maybe salvage it because it's not bad but it just needs like something interesting like black pepper or pink pepper if any of those notes were in this it would be really good but just because they made it too sweet not doing it for me it's too like meh. and it smells cheap it smells like juvenile cheap You know you have these soaps also like I don't know why I would associate those soaps like in my head I would think oh maybe in jail like <laughs> in women's prison they would like have those soaps I don't know why as a kid I had this thing because it was like too generic I guess like it was everywhere I don't know it smells like something it reminds me of something I can't think about it yeah this is my <laughs> perception it's too sweet for me guys I'm sorry I don't like it so no and last but not the least is your ramadi now Musaf was like unisex. Musaf Wardi is feminine, and Musaf Ramadi is masculine. <laughs> so again, it's a gorgeous bottle. It's very pretty. It's green. Like I don't know if it's translating in my monitor. It looks uh, a little blackish, but it's actually like a. Oh, it's too transparent to show you. But it's actually a, like a bottle green. You know, like. If I move it around, maybe you'll be able to see the. Uh, this one smells very, very masculine, 
and apparently this is supposed to be a dupe for uh, John Paul Gaultier's Ultra Male and yeah this is like your aquatic gym bro like it's like gym and swimming pool together <laughs> no not swimming pool it's like a surfing like um, it's, it has like this uh, creamy aftershave kind of quality which is why I feel like gym bro or like an axe uh, deodorant kind of quality uh, it's an aromatic spicy so you can clearly smell like aromatics uh, although I think I'll actually cross check my nose because in my notes is different and on the pamphlet it's different but I can smell lavender and stuff like I can smell some very strong aromatics okay so on the on the pamphlet it says top notes of aromatic fresh and ozonic literally like you're surfing you know then the heart notes is jasmine lily of the valley and orris and the base notes of amber moss and musk so yes definitely it has like a very aromatic fresh but at the same time earthy notes which are giving it that very masculine uh, energy like very masculine feeling like for some reason my notes were bergamot orange and lime in the top middle was violet nutmeg pepper and cardamom i don't know and the base notes was oak musk and amber so i'm assuming like i will follow of course what ardal zafran says because that's their original pamphlet right it is all ozonic aromatic sweet but yet earthy and like I do feel like it can be unisex but like I don't feel I would be able to wear this like maybe like sweater weather like but again then it's like that aquatic smell so this should be ideally worn in summer right because it's very ozonic aquatic it smells like you're in water whether it's a swimming pool or whether it's in the sea water interesting fact I don't know how to swim I'm going to take lessons soon because it scares the shit out of me it's, oh my god I said the s word uh, when I go in the like in the sea like even if I'm on the ship and if I'm wearing the life jacket I freak out I don't go near the pool because I'm like if I because I have my clutz and if I slip and fall in the pool no one will be able to save me so uh, there were two three instances where I nearly drowned and everything blah 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 so it's like a whole thing for me so I tried to learn swimming a couple of times but I have just been like super scared of uh, going into deep water. I can swim by the way, I can float and I can wait for somebody to save me. <laughs> but if I have to swim and come up for air, I can't do that. So that doesn't count as swimming then I guess. You know? See, I'm deviating again, again, again and again. So yeah, it's. <laughs> I wrote in my notes, the perfume exudes confidence and I feel it's a very magic mic perfume. <laughs> Yeah, actually, you know what? Yeah, it does smell like that. But it smells like a sweaty uh, strip dance <laughs> meal. <laughs> Who has worn tons and tons of axe, you know, like sprayed it all over him. So yeah, for me, this is like any time of the day you can wear this any season. I'm going to give this like a 7.5 out of 10 because it's not like a wow perfume. But for the price, oh my gosh, like just drench yourself in this, go out, you'll like feel nice, you'll smell nice, people will definitely compliment you. It's a very like attracting girls kind of scent. And I'm assuming if I would wear it, I would also like probably get like appreciation from girls more than guys, you know. So yeah, definitely a nice perfume. It does smell very this green, but um, I wish it was a blue bottle and then the liquid would have been amber. So it could have given that effect of like blue and yellow together would be green, that aquatic green and just like this one, you know. So I really wish this one was blue with like the amber uh, liquid inside. But anyways, I quite like it. The ombre black to green is like very cute and all the perfumes to get together will definitely look very nice on my shelf at the back. So that's your mousse of collection. I'm pleased with it because I had barely spent like $30 or so uh, on all the three perfumes and I, what I couldn't ask for anything more. I think uh, Vardi was a little expensive because it's kind of sold out everywhere and I know a lot of influencers and uh, perfume re reviewers they are like really raving about this so it's maybe it's just my taste that i don't like it oh my god i'm so fascinated with this bottle i can't stop staring at it especially when i look at it in the light anyhow yeah, let me stop here so <laughs> after many i think after many days i've done a review right i've been making these compilations because everybody has been requesting different different months from me and um, although i like making those but then again like getting a new perfume in my collection just gives me that uh uh, something more to talk about and um, also kind of gives me that like um, 
excitement, you know, to try something new and talk about it, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this, guys. I hope this helped. Musuf is definitely a very well worthy and definitely worth the hype, you know. Ramadi, Ramadi is not all that popular, but I think you should give it a chance if you're a dude. And this one, you're on your own. <laughs> So that's it for today guys uh do let me know if you want me to review other perfumes all your suggestions are helping me so much because literally i'm like i focus on like actually reviewing and thinking of how these perfumes make me feel although most of the time i just blab out whatever i feel like at, at that particular moment but um like sometimes my brain doesn't work on like what kind of content you guys would enjoy so i'm so happy that everybody's been recommending uh, different different subjects to talk about different perfumes to talk about i'm um, learning about new brands which i've never heard of you know there are some from india as well which i i wasn't aware of i didn't know they created they made Ar arabian perfumes so yeah i'm gonna try and get some of them from different countries as well and i'll see you in the next one until then guys see ya bye